Hello everyone, this is Arpa Bella from Slutio, and in today's very short video, I'm going to show you a way how to generate at least a basic topical map with ChatGPT. Okay, so let's jump straight into it. I won't take too much of your time, um, but you know, I've been trying to automate generating, uh, you know, topical maps, but I haven't really found any software that could generate really, uh, you know, the kind of topical map that I need for my niche sites or my projects or client SEO. So, so what I did is basically try to reverse engineer with ChatGPT, uh, you know, my topical maps. So using that what i did is basically i pasted in my topical map into chat gpt and asked it to reverse engineering write me a prompt that would generate the same output so what it came up with is basically a kind of like a three or two step process and i'll show you on the screen in a second um so basically came up with this prompt so I'll, I'll read it out loud and also i'll put this into the comment section or the description i don't know yet sorry i'm new on youtube uh, I'm a bit rusty, but uh, yeah, just uh, bear with me. I hope it will be useful. And if you like this video, I know people used to say this in the, at the end of the video, but if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe because I'm going to share a bunch more stuff, uh, free stuff, especially, um, you know, automated Google Sheets, whatever. Um, but yeah, it's going to be ex exciting. So, um, so the thing is, uh, okay, this is a quill bot uh, trying to trying to kind of uh, make the make the grammar better. So let's go, let's get into it. So the first line is act as a topical map generator. You know, when you're writing a prompt with ChatGPT, this is the most important part because it allows it to think in a certain way. Um, I'm not sure if it accesses different type of tokens or, you know, um, different types of categories of tokens, but it usually really wor works for me if I try to, you know, uh, generate a certain output. So in this case, I wanted to generate a topical map. So, you know, I, I, I tell him to act, tell it to act as a topical map generator. Um, if, you know, if I wanted, uh, I could give it like a sentence like semantic expert or whatever. But in this case, uh, I wanted to act as a, a topical map generator. My topic is, you know, let's let's maybe choose a topic that I haven't generated um, uh, a topical map for, for example, uh, for example, baking. Let's see. I haven't tested it with this one. Uh, the second, uh, the second line is basically: please provide a list of at least 50 nouns. You can increase this if you want. 50 nouns or predicates related to topic. So I wanted to work for baking, uh, such as specific products or categories, as well as any specific purposes, qualities, or features that are relevant. So in this line, uh, what I try to do is, and if I do it manually as well, what I try to do first is uh, try to find uh, kind of connected, semantically connected or topically connected nouns and predicates because then it allows me to generate different type of clusters. And that's why I wanted to do, uh, wanted to, the ChatGPT to do as well before even trying to generate a topical map is to basically understand the topic itself. So that's that's why I try to generate like nouns and predicates with it first. Uh, you will then generate the topical map with each category and its correspond corresponding subtopics based on the provided nouns. You know, this is, I think, the most important part here. Additionally, you will create a table of nouns and their related topics to help you understand the different facets of your chosen topics. And please provide a clear and concise description of your topic to get the best result. So this, um, you know, I m might uh, tinker this with this a little bit and put this at the front because what it does is, um, you know, helps it to actually understand usually it starts with this by the way helps it to understand the topic itself so helps it to generate a better topical map um you know it will create a table of nouns usually this is cut off but you will see in a second so if we pass press enter uh i have a gpt, a GPT plus um actually it didn't give me a concise definition of the topic maybe it's um Maybe it's a too basic topic. I usually use it for uh, more complicated ones, but let's see what it comes up with. Yeah. Bread, cake, cookies, pastry, muffins, pies, brownies, croissant, cupcakes. So everything related to, uh, everything related to baking. So let's say you had like um, a niche website, which, which the main topic was baking, um, you know, 
not all of these could be clusters, but you know, bread could be a cluster, cluster because there are several type of uh, breads, cake, cookies could be pastries, muffins, uh, maybe muffins as well could be a subtopic because there are different types of uh, you know muffins that you could talk about. Um, and yeah, topical map for baking. Uh, types of baked goods. So as you can see, it came up with a basic topical map um, types of baked goods uh, and then you could even so what I usually like to do once it finishes and it will usually cut off because of the character limit uh, I think it's 4000 or something like that uh, Then I do use the same prompt and I go into different type of uh, subcategories So for example, if I wanted to uh, you know do kind of a topical map on uh, the, maybe the baking ingredients and the flour or maybe flour as a baking ingredient then I would you know just replace this and it would you know come up with usually come up come, would come up with um, you know similar nouns and predicates because you know uh, flour is used to bake uh, donuts cupcakes or croissant brownies whatever but uh, usually uh, you can hold in a little bit better so as you can see this uh, cut the cut the table off for sure uh, baking tools and techniques now you could go into more detail into all of these as well uh, the second really is basically creating a semantic graph for the topic um, so if you wanna want it to con uh, continue this uh, table you can just ask it to continue this table in the format as you did before uh, the second prompt is basically generating a semantic graph uh, for the topic based on its related subtopic so it usually gives us um, now I had this little, uh, had a little bit of problem with this because it uh, gives me usually gives me the nodes and the edges and the relationships between those two, but every single time it's different. So yeah, so if you have time, feel free to mess around with it and maybe make uh, the prompt better. Um, but again, it, it kind of it it works uh, at least for uh, you know uh, initial uh, research phase where you're you're thinking like okay I have a baking website what should I uh, write about. You know, baking is, I think it's simpler because there are so many topics, of course. But, uh, you know, if you have a, a very, uh, I don't know, technical uh, niche website, for example, about multifamily real estate investing or whatever, you might not uh, know all of the topics from, from the top of your head, what to write about. Um, you know, and, and as you can see, uh, you know, it shows the relationships. So the net, uh, so the node is bread, uh, bread ingredients, baking ingredients, types of bread, types of baked goods. So types of baked goods is basically the top cluster there. But again, uh, you know, it's not perfect at all. <laughs> Sometimes I, I try, I, I find it like uh, making mistakes. But again, you can uh, regenerate the response uh, and modify it. And uh, what I usually like to do as well, which is pretty cool, is um, I'll, I'll, I, I'll give you all of these prompts so you can play around with it. Uh, you can get, get it to create a Python code. So that's one. Uh, which will visual help you visualize uh, the topical map it's in itself uh, because I usually like to see how the uh, different uh, nodes uh, are connected and, and what edges connect them so I can better understand uh, how the, the topic is built up. I usually like to do it uh, kind of in my mind, so to say, um, but, you know, it's always uh, better to have a visual. Um, so... The, the, the second prompt, that was the, the fourth prompt, actually, the, the Python one. The second prompt is visualizing the topical map in a uh, whatever diagram that you want, or maybe, uh, you know, let's say a mind map, uh, mind map. Uh, and what you can do is you can get it to create like an ASCII mind map. Now this, is, is, this is just for fun because it doesn't usually work, but uh, it's pretty cool. I'll show you in a second. And what I asked is, before you create a network diagram, visualize it in, a, in your mind and only then create a diagram. So my idea here was, you know, because it can generate only one line at the, at, at a moment and it cannot really go back in ASCII to generate another line uh, after it has generated a line, so to say. Sorry, it was <laughs> difficult to understand. But um, what I tried to do is ask it to, um, kind of visualize it or create it in its uh in its so to say mind before actually going ahead and creating the asking mind map um okay <laughs> strange this worked yesterday okay yeah i can provide an ASCII diagram that's fine so as you can see uh it's pretty cool it looks looks pretty cool 
Uh, unfortunately, it cannot generate images, which would be much better PDF or something like that. But you can see like uh, uh, baking tools and techniques. I'm not sure. Like the thing is like, you know, baking tools and techniques could be connected to co cookies, but uh, with a different type of, of uh, edge and it doesn't show like what the edge is. Uh, so, <laughs> so, but, but we got one like croissant, croissant ingredient. And from that, you can also maybe, um, you know, for, so, so, you know, the, the, so the main purpose of this really is just to generate ideas for you. So you can get, can take this and manually create a topical map if you want, or you know, use the use ChatGPT further. Uh, but then you can go ahead and ask it to write an outline for a blog or a knowledge base or whatever. Uh, regard taking these, uh, you know different nouns or you can break this prompt into different uh parts and ask it to generate like 200 predicates or nouns or whatever related uh, what i found is if it um, you know if it's out of predicates related or nouns related to the topic it will generate the same one so it's not really useful but um yeah it can look back on uh, and read back uh on the messages so it will definitely use that uh so that was it. That's how you can generate a very basic topical map with ChatGPT. I hope you found it useful. Uh, every prompt will be in the description or in the comments. And if you found it useful and you would like to see um, videos from me uh, like this, then give it, give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. See you next time. Bye.